In the ancient world, science was very different to how we know it today. The very first scientists didn't really specialise in one aspect of science or another, such as biology or chemistry. Instead, they tried to observe what was happening in the natural world as a whole and make deductions about natural phenomena that they could see with the naked eye. In ancient Greece, what we would call a scientist today was called a philosopher, because the word philosophy, or philosophia, literally meant a love of wisdom. These ancient philosophers are part of a group called pre-Socratic philosophers because they lived before or at the same time as Socrates. Most lived in the time period from about 600 BC to about 450 BC. Remember, in dating before Christ, we count time backwards, so 450 BC is actually later than 600 BC. These philosophers were trying to answer questions such as why does the earth stand still? What does it rest on? And where or what does everything come from? Ancient science isn't really taught in school. And even at university level, there are very few places that teach this subject. In fact, during my time studying classics, I quickly realised that I had to teach myself about ancient scientific theories. So this is going to be great for all you Iggy members interested in the ancient world. In this new Iggy series, we're going to look at the four elements, earth, air, fire and water, and the theories of four key philosophers, Thales, Anaximenes, Xenophanes and Heraclitus, each of whom used one of these elements as the origin of life, the universe and everything. They called their chosen element the Arche. The translation of Arche into English is something along the lines of origin or ruling principle, meaning that anything that was labelled an Arche was not only the origin of everything, but also the element that ruled over the other elements. Having looked at these four theories, we will look at one more philosopher called Empedocles, who brought the four elements together in his theories about how the universe worked. So after this series, Iggy members will know how science in the Western world first began.